Hello, welcome to the RCR Wireless Newscast. Today, we're here with Perry LaForge, Executive Director of the CDMA Development Group, to ask him a few questions about what's going on in the CDMA world. Glad to have you here, Perry. Um, so, Perry, what do you think the most important issue is right now for the CDMA community? Well, one of the things we're obviously always working on is subscriber growth, and we're sitting at uh, about 450 million subscribers worldwide. Um, so our goal is to continue to grow that very rapidly. Uh, in North America, we're growing still at uh, about 18 percent worldwide, we, you know, similar numbers. Um, so we have to uh, have a number of programs in place to continue that growth. Um, one of the programs that's been very successful for us is getting the price of handsets down. Um, you know, that was very important to the India market, and now we're seeing uh, CDMA grow in India at like 2 million subscribers a month. Um, another, and, and that's very important for emerging markets. So, you know, emerging markets will be key to CDMA growth in the future. Um, we're, you know, working very aggressively in places like Africa, uh, where we've had a number of new operators come up. And that's largely been a, you know, result of the success that we've had you know, with, you know, bringing the prices down on not only low-tier handsets, but medium-tier handsets. And in developed markets, they want us to work on bringing the prices down of high-tier handsets as well. And the CDG plays an active role in that. Um, there's other programs in terms of like working with our operators to ensure interworking with uh, uh, 4G technologies, which uh, we're very aggressive on doing right now. We've got worldwide roaming programs uh, to ensure roaming uh, around the world and simplify roaming. Um, and, you know, we obviously work on a number of advanced data applications. But all of it really is based on, you know, making CDMA a success, making 3G a success. And I'm happy to say that if you look around the world, CDMA operators, in terms of performance, are some of the best performing operators uh, relative to 3G. And so CDMA sort of uh, lived up to the vision of, you know, what, what 3G was supposed to be. And obviously that will continue for a number of years. Ultramobile broadband, or UMB, has been kind of touted as the 4G equivalent to the LTE technology. Uh, where would you say UMB stands today? Well, UMB um, is an OFTM approach. Um, you know, LTE is an OFTM approach. Um, WiMAX is an OFTM approach. Um, I can say in the marketplace right now, certainly LTE, I believe, has probably the most momentum. Uh, WiMAX has, has got momentum as well. There's some operators talking about UMB, but uh, you know, I think it's safe to say that the majority of operators are looking at LTE or, or WiMAX. Uh, from our perspective, it doesn't really matter. We look at all those technologies as, as uh, OFDM-based, um, and we as an organization and working with our operator members are, you know, working on interworking and interoperability with OFDM technologies, be they WiMAX or be they LTE or um, UMB. As carriers like Verizon Wireless and Altel announce their plans to move forward with LTE, uh, what do you think will be the role of the CDMA development group in the coming years? Yeah, it's an interesting question. One of the, and and uh, we've had a lot of dialogue with our operator members um, because if you look at uh, companies that are going to LTE or going to WiMAX, um, many of those are CDMA operators. They're going to be the first ones to adopt. And the reason um, that is is because they are the ones that are really having some of the great success with CDMA. Um, when you build out a market and you do 3G CDMA and you make a lot of money on it, they want to now move and look at, okay, what other applications can we do? And some of these applications are appropriate for OFDM-based things. So if you look at um, the guys that are doing LTE or WiMAX, they're still going to grow their CDMA systems very aggressively, but they're going to do other applications in LTE or WiMAX. And so our role becomes, A, growing the CDMA system, continuing to grow the core, which they absolutely want us to do. And the other thing is, is they want us to work on interworking with these various technologies because they're going to be the first ones to roll out and they want to have CDMA um, dual mode handsets uh, at good entry points, so CDMA to LTE or CDMA to WiMAX. So they're going to be the first to roll uh, these OFDM technologies out and so we have to help enable that. So the key answer here is really to grow the core and then to ensure interworking with uh, both uh, um, CDMA and the OFDM technologies. According to a recent report from UBS, Canada's two CDMA carriers, TELUS and Bell Canada, are planning to overlay their networks with 
the WCDMA slash HSPA technology. Can you comment on that? I can be care. I can't comment on that. Yeah, because it's it's like I I can't say what a carrier would do. Okay. We here at RCR want to thank Perry for joining us today. For more on this story and all things wireless, you can visit our website at rcrwirelessnews.com. I'm Allie Winter. Thanks for watching.